Hi there, Cancer. Hope you guys are doing good. We're doing a full moon reading for you. Today is February 23rd. Sorry about that. I know the sun is behind me, so, or I'm sorry, in front of me. So it's a little hard to see, but we'll get there. If you are feeling drawn to this reading, there is a message here for you. Please hit the like button to tap into the energy of the reading. Also consider subscribing. Let's see what's going on with you here, Cancer. Spirit guides, angels, higher beings, tell me what's going on here with Cancer. We have, we have a five of wands here having to stand up to yourself against a group of people whether that's happening behind the scenes behind your back or in front of your face but we will get some clarity what else here we have the empress card someone seeing you is very very attractive we have the Ten of Swords. I feel like you're trying to avoid someone here. Bottom of the deck, we have a Nine of Swords. We have a Nine of Pentacles. So lots of independent energy here. The High Priestess. You're on your own here. Taking a time out, taking a step back from someone who's been in your life, who may have done you dirty in the past. You're not interested in their energy right now. I think this person that you've been dealing with has a lot of drama. I feel like you have peace when you're on your own. Let's get some clarity. Four of Wands. This person is definitely a soulmate to you. I feel like you've rejected them because they've been very immature. They've acted pretty immature here. Page of Wands. Someone is acting very childlike in this situation. This person rings with them. A lot of unsettled energy. You just feel happier on your own right now. I know you know that this isn't completely over. But you've taken a step back here. Why is the Empress card here? We have the Lovers card. This person feels so highly pulled towards you though. And you may feel the strong attraction toward them as well right now. I feel like this person that you've been connecting with, they're trying to find out how to get to you. They don't want you to get away, but they're also looking at their other options as well, which is why you may have gone into separation in the first place. This person thinks they've been hiding from you. They're not able to really hide from you. You know what they're up to. I think they know that you know that what they're up to, so it kind of drives them crazy. This person needs to rise up and evolve before you're going to want to hang out with them again. <laughs> I just know that their drama is not worth the effort at all. There's a lot less benefit out of hanging out with this person. Ten of Swords. They're still exploring their other options as well. Three of Cups. They may be hanging out a lot and drinking with friends and trying to keep their King of Wands. Somebody, they're trying to go out there and get attention. If they're not going to get it from you, they're going to try and get it from someone else. And the Magician card is here. This person is enjoying their masculinity, enjoying their time away. I feel like they feel their ego has been bruised, and so they're trying to regain some of that footing. They don't want you to know that they're very deeply hurt over the situation, even though they're the ones that caused the drama. <laughs> okay, take it how it resonates. You could have been the one that caused the drama or both of you as well. Take it how it resonates for you. All I'm saying is, is that their ego is so big that they're trying to protect themselves and make like it wasn't all of their fault. But I see that they have this protection around them. They're trying to get affirmation from their friends that they're not in the wrong here. 
It's annoying. This person's annoying me because they're not looking at the full picture. They don't have a full perspective of the whole situation. They're not considering other people's opinions or views. This person doesn't consider how they hurt other people. I think that they think it's hidden, even though you can see right through what they're up to. You are the high priestess here, Cancer. We have the death card, transformation. This person has pushed you through a transformation. They see that you've changed. They see that you're not chasing after them any longer. They're kind of perplexed. Eight of Wands. They're waiting for you to come forward with messages. I think they think that you're going to give chase toward them, but you're definitely not going to chase them. <laughs> you're definitely in this independence here with this Nine of Pentacles. And this person's giving you, I feel like they, any anxiety you feel is coming from them. They're waiting around for you to message them. This person will reach out to you because they're definitely watching you. They're very interested in knowing what you're up to. They see that you're very, very quiet and they don't know what that means. They don't want to lose you. That's for sure. They feel a little bit panicked. So I feel like some of them here are carrying a lot of anxiety. They feel anxiety because they aren't getting any messages from you as well. It's really hard to figure this person out. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's hard for them to figure you out. You definitely have them figured out. That's for sure. Everything that you've thought that they're up to is exactly what they're up to. You see them for what who they are and what they're doing. They can't really hide from you or escape the situation. They're also constantly thinking about you. So it's like, they don't know really what to do with themselves right now. I feel like they're out there trying to get attention from other people, but I don't see any other third party in this story at all. So it's not, it's, they haven't landed anybody. There's, they're just trying to look, okay? They're trying to look and see what they can find. Um, but they're not able to really find anybody as good as you. You are the empress. They're kind of comparing other people to you, and they're not able to really meet or see anyone around there. And they're, that's by design, by the way. They're not able to see anyone in their environment that compares to you. And so they're having a hard time really filling up their own cup based on the storyline that they've placed in front of them. They really want to come across as the victor in this situation. <laughs> they're definitely not um, winning here. They just feel a lot of anxiety. They feel like they should have taken better care of your relationship. They feel regret for their behavior. I feel them having kind of some <clears throat> deep moments of reflection during this time when they cannot see you, trying to figure out how they could repair th the situation. But they're not taking a lot of action towards you. I see that they are staying away from you at this time. But they definitely, I feel like, will end up giving chase at some point. They will reach out to you. But it's like they want to play cool with you. That's very apparent to me. They were trying to play cool like they're not phased by you at all. And that's definitely not the situation here. All right, Cancer, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.